Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to Project Zomboid. Um, so, I am starting a new character because at the end of my last recording, of course, if you all remember, I got uh, a pretty brutal end, <laughs> to say the least. So, let me just show you all. Here's the new settings I'm playing with. Uh, I've lowered the population count uh, from 1.2 to... Uh, actually, nah. Let's do 0.8. I think that'll be, uh, I don't know. I may not notice a difference at all, um, but that'll do. And uh, I'll just play as the exact same character as last time. Uh, so turning that off there. Um, actually, yeah, I wonder if Nutritionist would be useful. Um, Light Eater does seem like it'd be useful too. Well, I accidentally selected the Hilltop Survivor's Camp start. Did not mean to do that. Let's go with uh, Muldraw this time. Everything else will be the same, though. All right, we are back in. Wait. Wait. You serious? What the hell? <laughs> what? Yo, you can't do that. This is my house. What the hell is this guy doing? Uh, I think I gotta take this guy out. Cause, um, this is literally my house. And also, this guy has really good gear. So, uh, actually, I may just die immediately. Trying to fight a dude who has, like, a plate carrier on. Up. Oh. Up. Oh. Hmm. Up. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, alright. Never mind, I guess. Oh, wow. He'll probably wind up dead. Soon. It's just letting zombies in. This guy. Well, uh... Kind of just, like, jumped through the window, so I'm gonna try to find, uh... Everything useful in here, and take it with me. Um... I don't know if I'm gonna do... Trapping. Ever. Uh, carpentry. I should actually take that. That would be very useful. I'm just trying to be very mindful. Like, I think that all the books are useful to take. But I gotta keep in mind my carry weight. I don't know how far I'm gonna be going. Is that some dude shooting, like, way off in the distance? One of those survivors? I remember on one of my old playthroughs, I uh, was doing real well. And then I got surrounded by a zombie horde when I was inside of a uh, building, and some dude just right next to me just shot a gun. Oh god. Uh, why am I heading towards the gunshots? I don't know. I'm kind of hoping that I find the guy dead and I could just take his gun, you know? Oh, man. Also, uh, anyway, yeah, let me go back to what I was saying first before I start another sentence. Um, so yeah, there was one time when I got totally surrounded and I went up to the second floor. It was like a scene out of a movie. And that's also why I wanted to record this, because there's so many cool moments that I won't even have to retell, because it's like, hey, you're check this video out, rather than me having to explain it. Um, what is going on here? Oh, that's what's going on here. Anywho, yeah, jumped from the second floor. Absolute craziness. Uh, anyway, jumped from the second floor. That uh, It sounds cool, but I died. I, uh, like, broke my leg and there was a bunch of zombies around, so that wasn't good. So I guess that screaming is the sound of a survivor being eaten. Um, which means there was a survivor nearby. I wonder... So on my previous game, I wonder if there was all those zombies... Maybe it's possible that if there was a survivor overnight that was like shooting near me and then that attracted the horde, I think that's very possible. Um, then the other thing I was going to say is I wonder if the reason there's so many survivors here is because I accidentally started on the uh, hilltop survivor camp, so maybe it like spawned more than normal. Actually, probably not. Honestly, probably not. Um, but yeah, I should probably get away from these survivors because they're just like blasting off uh, in the middle of a zombie apocalypse. 
with zombies that are attracted to noise. A gun. Without a suppressor or anything like that, it's like... I gotta get as far away as possible. But I can't help myself um, to an extent. I need to check these zombies that they've already killed and all that for uh, good loot. This thing die? There we go. Alright, we'll keep going. Just gotta get away from those uh, other survivors, because uh, they're causing much more of an issue than... Uh, they are a harm rather than a help. Ooh, this place looks nice. It's still a little bit too close to those other survivors, but... They have a Land Rover here? Oh, that looks nice. That looks really nice. Looks like it's in good condition, too. Hmm. Is this unlocked? Let's take a look here. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's in really, really good condition. Nice. Let's see what I can do here. Oh, crap. There's a zombie in here. Come on. Alright. A beret. I don't see anyone ever wearing a beret. Unless they're military. Who wears a casual beret anymore? It just looks weird in my opinion. Oh, there's another one. Oh jeez. Well, I'm thinking of making this place my base. I think it might be far enough away from the absolute insanity. Where it'll work. Uh, I, I hope. This recording so far, and the last one, was just like constant action, which is cool in its own way, but it's like, man, I can't, I can't keep that up. <laughs> that dude uh, committed suicide in there. He is uh, just surrounded by bleach. Interesting. You know, what's also funny about that in this game is uh, they let you drink bleach. It's not just like a little prop like setup. Like you, you can actually make your character just drink bleach. Oh my god, empty bleach bottle. Oh wow. You know, speaking of, uh, well, actually not speaking of that at all. Um, what I'm noticing though is this house is a lot more intact than the other one. So now I'm thinking maybe I should make this one my base and uh, I'll move all the corpses back because yeah, this one is in much better condition, you know. A plant from this destroyed door here. This is the third house down, so I'm like in that second one over there, or that's where it will be, I should say. And uh, yeah, this is just gonna. Oh, I think uh, I'm worried that that's on me. So I'm gonna get out of that house fast, make some distance between me and it. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna use that house as my dumping ground for, the, for these zombie corpses everywhere, you know? But. Uh, I'm not going to go there for the time being. I'm just going to kind of... Oops. Close that behind me. Just, uh... Just kind of, uh... Be nice and quiet in here. Taking a sip of water when that happened. Oh crap. Is it go time? Are there zombies everywhere now? Jesus, I was trying to change out the bandages and all that. Crap. Here, let me uh just hide in here for a sec. Rebandage these. Why did they come in here? I was being literally silent. God. Alright. Uh while I'm in here, I should clean stuff up. Oh, yeah, there is. Ah, I, I thought I saw the door moving. I, I said it before, and I was wrong, but this time it actually was moving, and there were zombies inside. Oh, there's a lot of zombies inside. Oh, dear. Why, why are there so many zombies? Holy crap! Yo! <laughs> what? What the hell? Why? Why? Excuse me? Why? I don't understand. 
I do not understand. How was there that many zombies? And where did they come from? Why is there a horde in here? 100% silence. There was that burglar alarm that was on a different house. Why were they here? <laughs> what the hell, dude? Oh my god. Alright. Um, I wonder if that run was maybe screwed up because of, uh, I started it, um, on the Hilltop Survival Camp, so... Again, I'm gonna delete it. In the future, if that happens, I'm not going to. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna start yet another run, because, uh, I, I still feel like playing this game. I haven't grown born of it yet. I shouldn't have said ever that one of the conditions would be like, oh, um, I'm gonna end this when I, uh, die. It's like really overestimating my abilities so right here this is actually the start of a new recording so from this point onwards if i'm mentioning the last recording i'm just referring to the previous part of this video that you just watched after i edited it i found out that there was only about 10 minutes or maybe 15 minutes of footage here so i just decided to merge this next recording as well i am going to change a few settings but i'll deal with that later what i wanted to mention is first of all what i am going to do when i actually get in game a thing I'm going to be considering. I should get a base that's uh, probably two stories, that way zombies don't just jump in on me. Now, I don't know, that comes with its own caveats, like they could just climb the stairs, you know? Um, I don't know. I, I really need to think about that, actually. I may be better off just getting a... Uh, still, you know, trying to like bug out and try to find a place way out there. Um, and then the other thing, is uh, I'm gonna try playing on West Point this time. And I'm actually not gonna play with on the uh, veteran because I was reading, apparently there is like a built-in desensitization in the game. So like, as the game goes on, you don't panic as often unless there's like a massive, massive zombie horde. And honestly, I could be like, okay, that would make sense. And also in that case, um, does accuracy really matter? <laughs> like if I just spray into the horde of zombies, I'll probably hit. Um, but then they do have those beta blockers as well. I don't know if you saw those at the end of the last recording, but uh, that's like a medication in the game here that uh, lets you not get uh, panicked when you take it. So if there's a crisis, I could just take those and then open fire when I need to. Um, I don't know if those are like a real thing. Beta blockers, they probably are something real, some sort of real. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to turn off transmission because I hate, even though the infection mortality thing is like two to three days, it's like, well, I'm screwed. It doesn't matter. The, unless there is some sort of vaccine for the virus, the zombie virus that I don't know about, I'm not going to bother because it, it's just like well i got bit i may as well just restart at this point you know I, I think it makes more sense if i just or not necessarily makes more sense but i think it's more fun if i just leave that off and then i mean every other death i've had so far has just been me getting mobbed by zombies anyway i've never been bitten and died it's always been that so i think transmission would just be kind of a cheap way to die so i'm not going to do that um I'm going to lower that to 0 0.8. Actually, I had that at 0.8 last time. I forgot to uh, save the preset is what the problem was. Well, maybe I'll lower it even more. 0 0.7. We'll try that. Okay, so. Um, actually, let me just remove all of that. So I'm looking at these here. Low endurance. Low endurance regeneration if I take out of shape. I'm just trying to choose which um, cons to get. Because I want to take a few specific traits here. Uh, I don't know. I might take... Uh, underweight because then i at least oh wait hold up low strength though no n never mind i was about to say that because it doesn't lower my fitness by as much and also then i don't have a penalty to my uh regeneration which i realize now is actually a, a major issue to not have that regenerate quick all right so i think i'm gonna take the strong trait that'll be really useful the last one i actually am gonna take is slow reader because in my experience, when I've occasionally used this, it's not that bad. Um, because normally when you're reading, I, I know like it could be an issue if it takes way too long, but generally you're in a safe-ish spot, so you can just kind of like be there and just read it. So I'm going to take Slow Reader, High Thirst again, and uh, Strong. So, save. I'll just use the same name, overwrite. Next, load up the same character. 
Um, I do have a few different options now for uh, what to wear, so let me take a look at those real quick. I think this looks pretty cool. The, those jeans look a little too baggy, but I don't know, kind of like an all dark uh, color tone. And uh, I don't know, plaid always looks cool, so let's go. What the hell? It's super foggy. And there's a, there's a moron here again. Good God, man, why? Why is this guy here? Also, what is... Uh... I'm not sure what's going on. That, that won't be a good idea. I was thinking like, oh, I will, uh... Oh, God. I don't think I can even bandage myself in time. Come on, come on. Don't do this to me. Oh, please hurry up. Before the zombies get me and also before I bleed out. Oh, I got away from that one, but I think I'm still going to bleed out. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I hope this time I'll be good. Now, honestly, maybe I'll have just cut out. I, I think I will actually cut out most of that first run, so uh, that was a disaster. I'll try to keep in as much as possible for context, but that was awful. That was genuinely trash. Oh, man. My god. Ooh. Okay, I think we're off to a good start this time. I have a, um... I, I found a gun case right off the bat, and it looks like it has a, just a mag in it. Uh, how do I... Oh, I, I should drop it and I can access it. 45 auto mag. That's cool. It's empty, but I'll, I will absolutely take that. Got some really stupid-looking, uh... pants, but it works. And they're bite resistant, so I'm not complaining. Seems like a pretty good spot to start. God, I've, what is this, like four runs? More than that, actually. It's been more than four runs. And, uh, wow. Yeah. Oh, could I, um, could I wear the hammer, like, on the belt? I could. Nice. I may as well have a backup weapon and all that, you know? I'm so glad there doesn't seem to be a uh, ridiculous number of the zombies. Uh, or also survivors, I should say. There's not a ridiculous number of survivors here. God. I spoke too soon. Oh my god. Really? They're just just bring over a zombie. Man. I can't believe it. What? What the hell? She's gonna build boards? Okay. Alright, I'm not even complaining then. Okay, there's a few zombies. Why was PvP forced on? I didn't Did I press something? I have no idea. Is this like a farm plot? It looks like it is. That'll be very useful later on. Did a, maybe a survivor put that there? And then I just kind of like ended up spawning here? Very possible, I suppose. Ooh, there's an M9 there, but no ammo. Wow, that uh, other survivor totally um, just like boarded up everything. What the heck? Awesome. Well, this is actually a very good start. Oops. Lock the doors. That uh, survivor, you know, she totally uh, boarded up all the windows. Awesome. Now I'm just gonna lock her out. <laughs> oh, this isn't... The most important one, I would say, is not boarded, however. That's okay. That's manageable at this point. But, um... All right, I am going to stop here for the time being. Uh, I'm not going to end the recording. Well, so where I'm at right now, I am going to end the recording because I'm tired. I'm going to go to bed, but uh, you won't notice it. I'll just merge in. Or I guess you will notice it because I'm talking about it. But yeah, I'll be right back pretty much. I went and edited all the previous videos and I noticed uh, I said all right a lot when I was hopping back in the game. So I'm trying to intentionally avoid that word. But anyway, I'm going to unpause. Right when I got in the game, I heard that someone's trying to force this door open. I don't know if it's that survivor I locked out earlier or if that's a zombie. So. Hmm. 
PvP forced on again. Don't know why it's doing that. That is, uh, concerning. Oh, that's the PvP button. Okay. Alright, so... Oh. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, 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 Jesus. Let's get these guys away from here. Get out of here. Get away. Rose, appreciate that she, uh, made the, uh, the boards and everything, but gotta get her away from here. Oh, and that reminds me, really quick, by the way, um, these survivors, I... Actually, before I started, I went into the settings here and I lowered the super survivor spawn rate to extremely low. So we won't see any differences here immediately because uh, I'm, you know, I'm continuing the game. But over time, as some kind of die off and all that, start to see, uh, start to see a difference. Um, that's a, uh... hey Craig, what the hell is this guy doing? You trying to break into my house here? This punk, man, I, I have to like chase away these guys. <laughs> from my from my place it's like i got i got zombies to deal with get out of here oh shit <laughs> i didn't uh, i didn't think i would like kill him I, I don't know i mean i was it's not like i wasn't trying to but uh i don't know that was weird did he have just like a hold up did he have like oh my god he had a lot of meat on him i was wondering like it seems like i'm picking it up but why is it not finishing and it's like oh he has an insane amount of meat on him all right i want to get this over with there is a lot of zombies around here and i don't want a repeat of last night god damn it <laughs> holy shit no 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 <laughs> oh you gotta be kidding me I'm not dying again all right what i need to do I can't limp away. Bloody hell. I turned off the... This is going awful. How is this going so badly? Oh my god. Alright. New character. West Point. Jesus. Is this like... I lost count. So as I said before this, I was uh, editing everything. Oh, let me check. Did I say... Yeah. I edited all my previous... Uh, videos that I recorded here, and um, I got it. And I was counting how I got the exact same spawn. Hmm. That is, uh, I don't really like that I got the exact same spawn, but you know what? Screw it. I barely started anyway, so I, I don't know. I feel like it's kind of cheap that I can just like walk out there and get my old stuff, but I'd survived three hours, so it's like I don't have much anyway. It, it works. So, well, <laughs> there, that's me. Oh, God. What an absolute mess. Jesus, I keep saying that I'm going to be doing better, and uh, then I just die. Constantly. Over and over again. Okay. All right. I'm sure that this is the run. This is the run where it's going to, where it's going to go well. All right. I swear to God. So, step one. Let's, uh... I'm gonna go back to that guy I killed over here. I'm gonna loot the rest of the meat that he had. That enor enormous amount of meat he was carrying. For whatever reason. You throw that on the back there. Throw that in here. Oh, I suppose I should reset this area as my base since I died. Um... Actually, I'll leave PvP on. I don't trust these other survivors. Uh, and they don't- they shouldn't trust me. I was about to say they don't trust me, but they just- they shouldn't trust me. They might trust me. That would be a mistake on their part, however. So... Okay. Wow. Now then. Let's get all this stuff put away. Actually, uh, do I have, uh, other food on me? Because I don't want to... Uh, I want some food on me, so let me make sure... Okay. I have chips, I'll put those in the backpack. Alright. God, we've we've started this game over so many times. But I think we're finally... Uh, the fact that I caught a little break here, I think, is a good sign, so... Alright. Things have calmed down. Uh, I just remembered I'd already checked that. Alright. 
So we've got to sneak around, got to be careful. So there's two zombies over there, but only two zombies. Is that wood glue? I would like to get that wood glue. Uh, I got to start fortifying. I think, uh, is that a plank over there too? I hope so. Let's see. And hopefully this one doesn't notice I'm here. It's a plank. Nice. I uh, can grab that and that wood glue. Actually, was this like a... What does that say? McCoy logging? Ooh. That's a good sign. Alright, so I'm gonna take that plank. Take that screwdriver. That's actually quite useful. I can uh, use that screwdriver for some uh, upgrades and repairs of all that sort of stuff around the base. A wood glue also, same thing there. That'll come in very handy. That is locked. Dang. I bet that there's probably more wood in the back there, which I like to have. Uh, that's okay. I'll make do with what I got. A lot of zombies over there. Don't want them. So let me, let me back up and hopefully they won't realize that I'm here. Another thing, um, this is kind of dating, like, it's pretty obvious when I'm recording it, but I, uh, I've started watching Resident Evil Infinite Darkness. It's a Netflix series. Uh, it's one of those animated Resident Evils, which I, I've always thought are really good in the past. Um, I never liked the live-action Resident Evil movies, but... Oh, look, by the way, there's, there's Rose up there. Um, but yeah, the animated, like, 3D CG ones are pretty good, in my opinion. So, uh, I just watched the first episode earlier today. I went and worked on some stuff, but yeah, I've been enjoying it. Uh, I think it's really good. But it made me think when I was watching it, especially because I was just playing some Project Zomboid before that, it was, uh, that, damn, um, I wish that I was, like, Leon Kennedy up in here, you know? But really, if we're talking Raccoon City, it's like, I'm just one of those random dudes who just got eaten immediately. <laughs> Everyone wants to be Leon Kennedy. But they're all, uh, we're all actually the dude who just gets eaten immediately when the zombie apocalypse starts. It's pretty, uh, that is, uh, that pretty much describes the entire run thus far, so. Oh, this looks like a, this is a good room to hole up in. Because, uh, the window is boarded up thanks to, uh, that other survivor. Alright, that'll become my, uh, bedroom then. Alright, perfect. Um. Well, I still want to get this place all secured. I don't want to have zombies get in. Um, my best bet is to just not attract too much attention, which I think that was another issue. Maybe I was attracting too much attention in the past, and there's probably a lot of zombies here. Damn it. I thought there was just the one. But... There seems to have been a fair amount in the woods there. I should probably not be engaging as often. Um, but now that I have, I need to deal with this. I thought that one was dead. Okay, now we're good. So yeah, I just want to kind of keep the ones that are close to my base away from it, but I don't want to uh, go on a killing spree, because the last time I did that, it was me that got killed every single time. So, gotta be quite a bit more careful. Um, but let's just try to um, start looting some buildings, see if I can find anything useful. Uh, this building has a bunch of busted windows, so I bet a different survivor probably already looted this place. It's looking pretty barren. Mm, oh, there is an M9. Um... That is promising. I'll take that with me. Did it say it had one in the chamber? Yeah, so one in the chamber, but uh, no mags. Was that a cold pack? Used in improvised defensive devices. What? That's weird. Let's get that turned off. I don't know if... Um, I mean, there's zombies right outside and they didn't seem to be attracted to it, but just to be on the safe side, you know, as little sound as possible. So I'm going through here. 
Uh, I think that's everything. And there's a zombie that just came in. I'll just ignore him. Just, uh, let's just close the door on him, as a matter of fact. I say that as if I'm locking him in there, but there's a window right there that's been busted already, so... Alright, so there's a few up there. That is fine. It's like a undead uh, football team up there. Probably. Football is in um, soccer, I guess I should say. But uh, whatever, American football. Who cares, man? I've never been interested really in any football, whether it's American football or football, as in what some call soccer. Um, yeah, I never caught my interest. Oh, speaking of which, this reminds me. Last night when I was recording the uh, first uh, recording of Project Zomboid. Or the, yeah, yeah, the first recording uh, on the second run, I believe it was. Um, <laughs> I don't know how I started talking about, like, having a... Well, I, I know how I started talking about, like, Doritos and stuff, but I, I found it rather amusing that I just went off talking about Doritos. <laughs> and uh, all of that. That was funny. Doritos and bananas. What is this? Foraging? I... I would like to do that. Does that... Okay. I've never foraged before in this game, so let's try it out. I uh, just gotta be careful of those zombies there. And, um... I found a stone. I believe I can use that to craft a... stone axe, which I need to kind of start crafting. So, I guess that's good. Hold up. That tree just moved as if something... I mean, trees don't move on their own, you know? So, something just happened there. I don't like it. I'm a little bit, uh... This is a little bit of a sketchy spot to forage. With zombies so close by. Did that one just see me? Oh, crap. I don't know. There's one moving there. I, I don't know. I don't really like this. Let's keep going for now. Okay, I think that one's coming this way. Yeah. Attracted the attention of a few of them. Let me close up here. I found some twigs. I uh, don't think that'll be very useful, but... We'll see. Maybe. Go down. It's just two of them. I think I can take them without an issue. Hopefully. I mean, I've said that so many times before and then I just die. So I'm a lot more on edge this time around. Okay. Back to foraging. Um, oh, as long as none sneak up behind me. And I think most of them are up this way. And that saw me. Oh, man. Well, yeah. At least I'm not getting snuck up on, you know. So that's a good part. But uh, I'm gonna call it there. I'm gonna go loot somewhere else. Uh, she had a leather jacket, didn't she? Yeah, I'm gonna equip that. I have a little bit better bite protection. Uh, even though I disabled transmission of the zombie virus. Um, well, you saw what happened last time. <laughs> God, only survived for three hours. Like, holy hell, man. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I got bit and just kind of bled out, so... I, th I still think this is perfectly balanced. Um, uh, I feel like in another way, though, I don't know. I feel like I'm playing on, like, easy mode. Uh, I don't know if any of you are, are familiar with it, but there's this uh, clip from... Uh... Oh, what's the name of it? How am I suddenly forgetting it? But uh, it's like easy mode. I'll, uh, if I remember to, I will try to throw it up. Uh, in post. Also, why is there so much wine around here? What the hell? Is some dude, like, getting drunk because the zombie apocalypse happened? He's like, well, shit, I'm just gonna... Just drink my entire stash out. It certainly seems like it. Well, actually, no, it doesn't seem like it, because... It's not drink. They're full bottles. Um... Well... I'm not complaining. I'm gonna take all this stuff. It's probably not good for me to uh, get drunk in the zombie apocalypse. But I could just, like, have it at some point. Um, if I'm running out of other food, you know? That sort of thing. 
it'll at least give me some sustenance, which, speaking of which, I need to eat a little bit here. I'll just eat both the uh, bags of chips, that way I get nice and full. How's my health doing? Okay, I, I thought I took a bite. Oh, I, I think that was on the previous playthrough. I'm still thinking of that. It's kind of confusing when I've died and restarted so many times, but I, I, I feel like this run is promising, dare I say. Uh, I probably just jinxed the entire run at <laughs> saying that, but we'll see, we'll see. Let's go check this house up uh, here. I, one other thing I was thinking is I was probably rushing too much in my previous uh, runs in this recording. So I just, I gotta take it slow, I gotta sneak. Holy crap! This dude was loaded! Was this an actual survivor? Because, oh my god. Loaded, um... Well. Loaded rounds. Or, no. Loaded magazine. Not a loaded chamber, I should say, on that 1911. Uh, I don't want that out, because it's not suppressed, so let me get that rid of that. Uh, she didn't have a... holster or anything. Just checking. For some reason I had trouble processing, like, oh, what was the name of those things again? As I'm, like, looking for it on the person there. Oh, I just noticed that M9 I picked up has a red dot. Oh, sweet. Uh, could I remove that and put that on the 1911? Probably. I'll try that out later. That is cool. Tomatoes. Tomato seeds. Nice. Alright. Ooh, salmon. I'll oh, grab that. What's my weight looking like? I'm starting to carry a fair bit of stuff. I should, uh... should drop the stuff off at my... I, I'll say temporary base, though... Who knows how long I'll actually stay here. This seems like a fairly decent place, though, because... It has what I believe are farm plots, which is... The first I've ever seen anything like this. I never really got far enough in Zomvoid to actually do farming, although I wanted to many, many times. Hmm. I guess I should leave my... That's interesting. Leave my baseball bat in my hands, otherwise I get overburdened. Huh. Interesting. Oh, crap. I hope those did... Th did those guys just see me? No, they did not. Alright, let me get in here. Hopefully they didn't hear that, but I, I think I'm better off having that door closed. That way they have less of a chance of seeing me, even though it's uh, not covered or anything with, like, curtains. Ideally, it would be, but that's okay. Alright, so I'm gonna put a bunch of this stuff in here. Um, can I... I'm gonna have to look at the carpentry crafting menu, because I, I think I should be able to... I should be able to craft some planks. I don't know if I can use twigs for that. Probably not. I mean, that wouldn't physically make sense, but you never know. Sometimes they make recipes like that in games. Um, we'll see. I, I think I might be able to make an axe, though. I could eat that worm. <laughs> oh god, that's gross. Rather not. I'll use that for fishing if I can uh, find the appropriate stuff to do that. Um, let me uh, see here. Remove the red dot on that. Ah, oh, nice. Oh yeah, I forgot I had the screwdriver at all. That's sweet. And then uh, hook that onto the M1911. Nice, nice. Oh, that's good. Real good. So I was... Uh... Oh. Actually, here. Let me close the door to that bedroom, because that one does have the unsecured window. That way zombies, if they do break through that window, they don't get as quickly into the rest of the house. And, um, since I'm kind of going to hole up in this room as my main area, I, uh, I don't want any of this stuff here. <laughs> but, um, whatever. Oh, let me rip that up for uh, bandages as well. But, yeah, I'm going to put the... M9 in here, because I don't have ammo for it anyway. Oh, I do have that other 1911 magazine. Do I have that on me still? 
Um, lighting just changed? Am I just seeing things? I don't know. Wow, that's a lot of ammo I found there. Nice. Uh, well, relatively speaking, that's a lot. Actually, it's not a huge amount. Let me check that. Drill a plank. Okay. Um, make sturdy sticks. Can make a mortar and pestle. That's cool. Ah, oh, here we go. I can saw logs if I have a saw and a log. Um, so, survivalist, I have an option of crafting a spear. I'm looking for... Uh, like a stone axe. I, I thought there was a stone axe in here. Here. Here it is. So I need a tree branch. How do I get a tree branch? Probably if I just forage. I mean, why is that different from a twig? I guess twigs are probably like tiny, tiny, tiny things then. But okay, that's what I need. And then I can start fortifying this place. Just start chopping my own wood and all that good stuff. Or maybe just move on. You know, I don't... I don't really like this place too much. There's, It's too urban. There's way too many zombies around here. I don't like that for my base. Um, I would prefer to either walk in, which is not at the best, uh, but I would either prefer to walk in or drive into town um, and live out further where there's many uh, or far less zombies just in general. Um, and then just kind of have to worry about zombies when I'm in town more so and not always... But, uh, well, in the meantime, it's getting a bit late here. I should sleep in a sec, but I'm going to get some stuff put away. I wish I could just, like, destroy this stuff, because uh, a lot of it I will never use. Like, a cube, Rubik's Cube, a doll, a yo-yo, toy car, etc. And it's just going to be more stuff I have to kind of drag through. I guess I could drop it on the ground, but uh, then it's kind of in the way there, too. I don't know. I guess I'll do it, because whatever. I'll find a better spot for it some other time. Um. Hey. This is good. Ooh. West Point map. This is uh, much more in depth than uh, I was expecting. I don't I don't know if they always had these. I think that the game uh, had maps always, but I'm not sure if they were this in depth. So there's a police station there. There's a town hall. Do I need, um, ah, I need a pen or pencil to add symbols to the map. Good thing there's one right here. Guess I will uh, keep that on me then. I wonder if I could use crayons. Would that actually be a good use for those, then? Let's try it. I don't know. Uh, the fact that they're requiring this much, because, you know, this, this game is cool. It, it's so in-depth, but since it is requiring that, I wonder if I need it, if I want to use, like, different colors on the symbols uh, and all that. Yep. Yep. That is... That is crazy. But I can't use the crayons for that. Crayons or crayons? I don't know. Freaking myself out with how I'm saying that. Uh, if any of you have watched my other uh, gameplay stuff, I, I tend to do that a lot. It's like, how do I even pronounce this thing? I don't know. Alright, here's hoping I don't get killed in the middle of the night. I'm not even sleepy, but I may as well, because I just don't want to risk it going out in the middle of the night. Uh, and then I wake up at 4 a.m. anyway. Okay. Well, it's fine. I don't know if I have an advantage, you know, actually uh, thinking about that more. I don't know if it would be better if I do go out at night. I guess the zombies would have uh, worse vision, too, presumably. Maybe they wouldn't, though. I don't know. Getting bored? Really? That quickly? Come on, man. I'm out here surviving the apocalypse, and then my character's just like, oh, I'm pretty bored. Like, after all that's happened, I don't know. I guess if I just think about this character's life 
has it been kind of boring? I don't feel like it has. <laughs> this has felt pretty intense even now. Like, the foraging, like, almost getting killed by the zombies when I was foraging, that was pretty... That was pretty scary, so... I don't know if I would say that the... I don't know. Maybe just uh, I was about to say maybe just an adrenaline junkie, but actually that is a trait which I didn't take, so I don't want to confuse any of you with that. Uh, but it's something like that, probably. So... Alright, I... Uh, there's not a whole lot of good options in here to um, organize stuff. I don't think I'm going to remember this very well, but I'm going to try to put all the upgrade parts in here. And stuff I'll use for uh, home improvement, I suppose you could say. Is there anything else? Yeah, there is. And then there's a few other things I'll just hold on me, like the... Uh, screwdriver, but it'll go in the backpack. Let's get, uh, it's 45 fully loaded up. 1911. I've always had issues loading pistol magazines, personally. Rifle mags, I can load really fast. IRL. But uh, if I could load a pistol mag that fast in real life, that would be incredible. They are a pain. I gotta use a speed loader for them, otherwise it's just painful. Uh, but I don't know. I don't really do much with pistols. So I'm kind of just out of practice. So very possible. Alright. Well, I think that that is... I think that's everything. Actually, since it is still dark outside, maybe I should read a bit and learn. Get learnt. Uh, that's funny. I don't know why I said that. That's kind of stupid. <laughs> but anyway. Um, I do really want to get a car, so I think this would be the most useful thing to start with. Lanes, auto, manual, commercial, models, lane, serial experiments, lane. That's a good series. I would recommend it. Highly. Actually didn't realize that I had a bookshelf over here. This is perfect. I'll store all the red books over there then. I thought I had more books. That's weird. I don't think there's much of a point of reading Master Foraging, but there eventually will be? It, I don't know. It's just like... It seems kind of stupid to start off by reading that one when uh, I haven't found the... Or rather, I think I have found the other ones, but those were on a... Oh, God. I don't know. It's so confusing. Because I've restarted so many times. It's like, I don't even remember what I had anymore. Oh, it actually tells me it's it's too complicated. So, yeah, I guess I can't skip it. That makes sense. This would be like going directly into, uh, I don't know, how to program an operating system uh, when you don't even know how to do, like, Python. Something like that. But okay. Um, let's hop out here and uh, start uh, start the day. My character is still bored, but... Uh, I, I don't think that'll that'll be for long, because uh, I think things are gonna get crazy, uh, intense. And there's a horde directly in front of my house. Also, I just noticed I still had that 1911 equipped. Would not want to accidentally fire that off. Damn, that horde was right in front of my house. Okay. That other NPC had their. Wait. Oh. Oh. Hmm. What's going on here? Hold up. So that survivor that was here before appears to have, uh, uh... I don't know. Is that the end? I don't think that's the survivor. I don't remember what she looked like, but I think it looks like she probably escaped. I see that house up there is, uh, all barricaded. Oh, of course that would make sounds. I'm not surprised. I don't know why I just walked over that broken gra glass. 
I almost said grass. This isn't the uh, old Berserk OP. If I remove the curtains here, will it give me them? Ah, oh, it does. As sheets, so if I was caring about how they looked, I'd be, like, really upset, but I don't care. Uh, I need them, though, to cover up the windows and the doors back in my base. Um, I want to try unbarricading those and see if I can take those planks with me. I could use them, for sure. Ooh, useful. A lot of good uh, books here. McCoy's shirt? What's it called that? Is that like a unique t-shirt of some sort? That's interesting. This is weird. I'm just... Yeah, it looks like I'm on the second floor. This is like an optical illusion. Echo Chrome out here. I uh, actually downloaded that game for the uh, uh, for RPCS3, my uh, the emulator that I have on here, and uh, I didn't actually play it much because uh, when I tried to, it was having an issue with um, rendering, which uh, in a game like that is actually crucial to being able to play it. So I just kind of gave up on it then. All right, I don't want to get like mobbed, obviously, by zombies. Um, but I'm gonna try to unbarricade this. Hopefully this doesn't make too much noise. Uh, and I want to see if I can get the planks from here. Did I get it? E yes, I, th I believe I did. Perfect. And I'm saying I believe I did because I don't remember if that blank I picked up earlier from that broken door. If I, I don't remember if I put that in my backpack or not, but... I think I did. Uh, one thing I actually... I should do this. Uh, let me unbarricade this one. Er, er, hold on, hold on, hold on. I will get to it, believe me. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to close that door. So I'm, I'm thinking pro strats right now. That way, I'll hear the zombies knocking on it. But if any zombies come from the front, I will at least see them coming. Alright, back to unbarricading this and taking all the planks from here. Then I'll take them back to my place. Wow, that survivor that was in here previously was carrying a lot. Holy crap. An insane amount. Uh, I don't want to carry too many. That would be dangerous, especially because there was that horde in front of my base there. So I wouldn't want to risk potentially running into them and not being able to move. That would be the worst thing possible. Let's get back there and... Let me get the baseball bat at the ready. Okay, so there is a zombie over there. There's a zombie down there. Uh, looks like the horde is probably still... Oh, crap. Uh, those two at least have seen me. Those two are moving. Hmm, okay. Um, if I can uh, do something here... Oh, crap. There's a third zombie. Ah. Uh, let me... Uh, get that one knocked down. I keep getting errors. I think that's because of the superb survivor's mod. Uh, it's not too bad, but... Can I take these few out here? Yeah, that's one down. That's good. Two. Okay, this is looking promising. Excellent, excellent. That's not too bad. Someone in the distance is shooting. That's great for me, because uh, all the zombies will be going towards them. It sounds like that's from the uh, north up this way. I remember uh, back when I had played this one time with my friends. As I kind of mentioned before, it, it didn't last very long and all that, but <laughs> when I did, uh, I remember we found a car pretty quickly on, and I wasn't driving. I was, uh... So there's a Project Zomboid really, really good online map that someone made, and I was referencing that and giving directions to my friend who was the driver. And I was telling him, like, okay, up at this next intersection, go north. And as you can see here, this is an isometric game. So up here is north, down here would be east, south, west. Uh, but he couldn't figure that out because he was, like, associating... I don't even know which direction he was associating with the north. Um, it got really confusing. Like, I think... I don't know. I think he thought this up here was north somehow. It's like... 
I don't even know. I, I tried to give him directions. I was so confused, and I was like, uh, and then I tried saying like, okay, just go right instead, and um, or wait, no, back then it would have been left, yeah. Uh, but at any rate, um, then he thought I meant right based on the screen when I was referring to the direction our characters were facing. So since we were so like the road was going this direction, and I said go left, which would mean you know going north. Um, but then he went the other way. <laughs> it's a complete mess, and it was like so confusing. I was like, all right, you need to back up now. But I don't even know which direction you need to go, because he's like going in circles. It's like, I can't keep up. My brain is breaking. <laughs> so that was, uh, that was funny. I wonder if I can barricade the doors to kind of uh, reinforce them. Oh, I didn't realize I have the disassemble option. It makes sense, because I have the screwdriver and the, uh, the, the hammer and all that, but that's cool. Or it's probably just the screwdriver, actually. It's probably the important one. But anyway, I hope no zombies... Shit, dude. So what I was saying is I hope that no zombies broke in here. Oh, crap. Man. I need to climb through here. I am dead. Because I didn't press climb through quick enough. Wow. Uh, that is exactly what I was worried about. Oh, my God. What the hell? How do I not get a single good run? All right. Look, I'm not good at this game, but I am still enjoying it, but I think I'm not good enough to uh, be this difficult. I'm gonna have to lower the difficulty, because, uh, holy crap.